Julie Robb, it's the name game for this neighborhood. Residents, businesses, and nonprofits all trying to decide what to call this changing area between downtown and midtown. And the suggestion that started this all, uptown. Just like this pup in the neighborhood's pet store, Park East is getting a fresh new look. It's cool to see this neighborhood grow and, and turn into something really positive. Erin Swan and her husband Ben were some of the first to reinvest here, buying the Kellogg building several years ago, then opening their businesses, a bike shop and a pet store in the lower level. Now there's a hotel and more businesses, but the neighborhood between Midtown and Downtown has an identity crisis. Now as the neighborhoods come back to life, there's been talk of what what should the neighborhood be called? How about Uptown? Developer Adam Watson believes he has an awesome idea. Watson restored the Smoke Pit restaurant at 25th and Farnham and wants to use that big blank billboard as the face for Uptown, Omaha's next growing neighborhood. It's an idea that has its doubters. I think really anything's better than Uptown. <laughs> Sarah Van Putten owns Well Grounded Coffee at 24th and Leavenworth. She supports a new name, but wants it to have significance. I don't know, it didn't encompass what this area was about, because um, there's a lot of nonprofits and arts in this area. We want to have a name that everybody has buy-in and ownership of. So neighbors and developers are meeting to make some decisions, hoping this newfound growth can find a new name that fits and lasts. Having our own identity that's consistent, that's clear, that's with one single unified voice, that, that's very important. Now, developer Adam Watson tells me Uptown is a reference to elevation. This part of town sits higher than Midtown and Downtown. And guys, there is a Name Your Neighborhood survey going out to people in this area this summer, and they hope to have all those results compiled by the end of July. Reporting live tonight, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7. Great idea.